We're All on. right, good evening. We are here at the uh, lower level of the town hall. It is 702, calling this meeting to order. Um, if we could just um, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic. We are looking at a very, very quick meeting. Um, for those of you who don't know, I assume you all do by now, um, Jason Quinn resigned um, from the board. So because of that, that does leave us um, without a clerk. So I will need somebody to either clerk and nominate themselves for that, right? Right? If someone wants to do it. What does it encompass, though? Uh, just assigning, uh, just assigning board, uh, board members. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's pretty much it. I mean, I think on other boards when they don't well, have it, minutes if, the, if you uh, don't have an office manager, the, the, the clerk would kind of fill in those duties as well. But in our case, I don't think this clerk's ever done anything else, right? Um, mm -hmm. sign table, no. maybe? The, yeah, they could act as like the third, the second backup to sign payroll, guys, you know. Um, Okay, so is there anybody who is interested? I would need a, um, a vote in a second. Can that person also be one of the voting members at times? Or can they oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Yep. Does anybody want to do it? Anyone not want to do it? So I don't mind doing it if we need somebody. Unless, Don, if you want to, or do you care, or? It doesn't matter to me. doesn't matter? Then it's, as long as someone, as long as someone uh, votes somebody in, I don't care. Did you have to know, like, if they've been on the other cases or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, you, you would try to keep a record, like, on, on in your own oh, file, and just okay. so you're not assigning the same person every time. Okay. Obviously, when we're down a member, that's going to be kind of tight, especially yeah. when my, da my dad and I can't serve on a case together, together too. Right. So, like, you, you know, there will be times when you're kind of bound as to who you can pick, but yes, you would be keeping track of try to keep it spread out as far uh, and as even as possible. Do you, you want to do it? I would do it. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to? I mean, do you want to do it? No, I don't really care. <laughs> okay. Do you want to do it? I will do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I will make a motion that we vote um, Michelle Lima in as the uh, clerk of the zoning board. Second. Second. <laughs> <laughs> Second. And is Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Good speech. Yeah. 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 yeah please. Uh, all right. So that is all Flowers. set. Um, the, Technically, it's under under um, old business is um, a regular meeting date for um, December uh, 2019. Um, Nicole, we don't have any official. Uh, I know what we we discussed today. As of right now, we don't have an official case yet, right? For December. Um, well, we will have the appeal. The appeal, right? Um, that is in, uh, for Sharp Road. Right. So for those of you. Who this is kind of rare for us that the zoning board, one of the things that we do is we hear uh, when people appeal a decision by the building com uh, commissioner. I mean, has it ever happened? Hmm. But not a long, not since I've been on the board. It's happened a couple of years, but it's happened many times. Yeah, so it w I, every time I keep hearing appeal, I think someone's appealing a decision we made. But no, in this case, um, someone is appealing a decision by the building commissioner, and we are going to hear that appeal. So it's not a new case per se, as in a new applicant is coming before us with, with something, it's um we're gonna have to hear hear that appeal and Nicole they are they are prepared to come before us in December or um we haven't been able to give them a date yet because we don't have a set day scheduled yet. Okay. Um, I am working on getting the application in. There was some confusion at the very beginning um, right. variance and, and special permits, the whole application needs to be completed up front. In this case, they just submitted a letter to the clerk saying we are going to appeal this. Which, which and, and, it. And, and their defense, there really is no formal application to appeal, right? No, it's really just his decision. Yep. Um, and the decision was to evict uh, five residents from the property due to um, his, uh, his role as building commissioner and he did unsafe. Right, and they, they're, well, I mean, we can't, we can't go into the details now, right. but we'll, um, that's, that's what they're doing. Yeah. And it, where is it, I'm sorry? Shar uh, Sharp Slot Road. Okay. I don't believe the property is visible from the road. I don't, I don't think it is. If it's, no, it is. It's not, no, I don't think it is. Um, 
So that being said, but um, as I was saying uh, before we were getting started, um, I have a uh, sudden conflict with the 40B meeting on the 10th of December, that's a Tuesday. Uh, we had already voted that in. Um, it's not too late. To, uh, it's not too late to change it. We just have to find a date to move it to. Um, obviously, that's not something we are going to vote on today. That's something that we'll vote on tom uh, tomorrow at the forty B meeting. But just keep that in mind. That's a date um, that could potentially move to the eighteenth, which is going to be when our regular meeting could have been, um, unless we bump both of these to January. Um, Jim, why can't we meet early on uh, that Wednesday to do our regular meeting and do that other meeting at night? Do we have a lot on the agenda other than the appeal? On the uh, 18th? Yes. Um, no, as of, as, of right, as of right now, that is the only thing that will come before us. Is that, that, the set, that month, that last two weeks of December, I am really, really uh, tight for this. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's the holiday. It's, it's, one, it's back to back uh, Wednesday holidays, too, with the, with the 25th going into Correct. the, the, the yeah, first. Yeah. Um, my only concern, I guess, I have no problem doing both. Uh, I have no problem coming early on the 18th. It's just that I do not know how long that appeal will take. I mean, obviously, like, we may or may not decide that day, but if we have a 40B, I mean, starting at 7, and we say we're going to meet at 6, I would not be surprised if that, that appeal hearing goes on for two hours. You know, I, I don't know. Well, you can put a time limit on it. I right. No. right. We, we could, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Of course, yeah. So Marguerite had mentioned that this case would take a little while. So she would recommend a different night. Um, that being said, we could do it more than just one hour ahead. We could do maybe a lot, two hours or something, but have it on the same day. We could still a lot longer. Right. So that would just depend on what time Marguerite could get here. Because I know, I believe she works till 4 or 5, I'm not exactly sure, during the week. Of course, I don't know what her holiday hours would be, if anything. I mean, I have no problem meeting at 5. It's just a matter of, could she, because she, that's, that's, she would definitely need to be there for that. So, um, I mean, the 17th, I mean, we could certainly keep this, um, potentially move the 40B to the 17th, which is the Tuesday, and then keep our meeting on the 18th as scheduled. And here, as of right now, we're probably moving just that. Um, and then we could say that, you know, at this point, any new cases we'll hear, we'll hear in January, knowing that we'll have, we'll have the appeal to hear on the 18th as a possibility, too. Um, yep, yep, go for it, yep. Um, so, sorry to be uh, nope. redundant on this, but um, if we are to borrow this room, um, the planning board has it during the fourth, no, the third Wednesday and the first Wednesday. So that leaves out the 18th. That does leave it, out the 18th. For this room, for anyway. This room. But we could, I could look into another room. 17th, yes, I'm sorry, sir. Um, no, I'm at least, uh, we, we can still do yeah. the 17th. The yes. 17th is a Tuesday, that right. this room would be free. That, 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 that would be the 40B. Or, or the regular meeting. Or both. Or both, right, both. right. <laughs> so both, I'm just going to, I would say wait on both until we can have a time for Marguerite as early as she could be here. That's the only, so that we can reach out to her and figure that out. Um, Should be a tomorrow, tomorrow's meeting, is that right? Yes, so right. We can determine this by tomorrow. We, we could, yeah. I mean, obviously. Um, Nicole slash Peter. Uh, that's something that we can vote on tomorrow. On a reg can we vote on a regular meeting day at a, for at a special meeting? Yeah, to, to determine when you're 40 feet and when the regular zoning would be. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. We can. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, can, you can change it anytime, mm -hmm. as long as it gets posted. That it's so you can change that for the agenda for tomorrow if we do if we want to hold off till then. Um, so we can't change the agenda at this point because we're within the forty eight hours. Right. Okay. Um, but in the future, um, anytime you wanted to vote for a regular meeting or a strawberry field meeting, you can do it whatever day. We've just been trying to organize the notes, keep one separate from the other. Okay. But we are within the forty eight hours for the. So we can't vote on our regular meeting tomorrow, right? Since we, we, we can't change it on the agenda. 
Well, you know, it doesn't necessarily require a vote. Okay. It's oh, just okay. a discussion that you're having, and it's just going to be decided that oh. it's the 17th. Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah. It's, not, it's, not, it's not a vote yeah, that's required a vote. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay. So if there's no vote involved, Sure. Yeah. All right, so let's, let's um, wait on that. So um, so we'll, we'll table the discussion of the regular meeting dates till tomorrow's meeting. Um, before we get down into uh, you know, two pieces of public input. Um, do I hear a motion? Um, has, anyone, has anyone looked over the minutes for October 15th, the Strawberry Field uh, hearing minutes? Yes. We're good? Yes. Do I have a motion to approve those meeting minutes? You do have a motion to approve those. A second? For, oh, go ahead. For both of them? Uh, one at a time. For the, the 15th. Yep. One second. Any discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. Do I have a motion to approve the October 23rd regular meeting minutes? A second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, for authorized ex expenditures, payroll comes to the amount of $1,949 even. Do I have a motion to approve that? Make a motion to approve the expenditure of $1,949 for payroll. A second, please. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Um, bills paid $2,297.50. So do I have a motion to approve that? In a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, so before we get into what's in our packets today, um, Nicole's going to just saw you today. I assume the answer is no, but we still have no um, applicants for our vacant position, correct? Correct. Um, to update the board, because John uh, Jason gave his, um, his letter the day of our last meeting, the board of selectmen are voting on it tonight. So they, so they couldn't have formally posted on it. Right. So. Okay. Um, at this meeting, they are going to be mentioning that it is available, and Karen will let me know in the applicants that are interested. Okay. All right. We will do the easy thing first. Um, this is an email uh, that came to uh, Nicole and I, uh, dated uh, 1250, um, sorry, not, not dated, uh, it sent at 1258 today on November 13th from Linda McCarran. Um, subject, master's degree. It says, hi Nicole, after you left my office, I took out our union contract. According to the contract, your degree must be in a job-related field. Since that is not my decision, your vote would have to vote to approve that it is indeed job-related and the Board of Selectmen would also have to approve it. If approved, I would definitely need proof of the degree. It is up to your board to address the funding uh, for this with the town administrator as it was not budgeted. When all this is, that, when, uh, all this is accomplished, we can move forward. The amount of a master's is $1,200 per year. Um, What's this for, Mr. Chairman? Oh, one, one second. Uh, although the contract reads, um, it is, um, agrees it to be paid at the end of the year when the town adopted new rule uh, new rulings for fair labor standards act it was divided into an hourly amount thank you uh linda so if you just want to catch me up uh, us up i guess on exactly what okay this um, is. so i didn't include this letter in everyone's packet because it wasn't on the agenda for tonight i just literally checked my just mail sorry. before yep. the meeting i talked to linda this morning i did get my master's in public administration last may um, through talking to Perry, I found out that I uh, qualified for um, more pay because of my master's, um, which is in public administration. It's the same master's degree um, Mallory has. Um, so I asked her today if it was informed or how I needed to proceed with that, and that was the email she sent me. So, talking to previous board members, this is out of care. This has never, never been something that we've had to discuss before, right? I don't believe any, any of our other positions have had a master's. No. Um, so now, because it's not budgeted for this year, does that mean it, Nicole and I guess and, and you guys down there, will this not be approved until next year? No. You okay, financially? Know. You can ask for um, that, that additional, additional funding. Yeah, we can ask the boss to approve it. Or, you know, you can make a motion to, if we wanted to, to, for this to be approved, and then ask a motion, and a separate motion, that the Board of Selectmen approve the expenditure. 
that we're asking. So we would need to go through separate motions. Yes, So it would be, the, would be the prorated amount of, up until this point okay. as a lump sum, if you will, and then from there forward weekly. Well, uh, yes, but just from May to That's what I mean. That's yes. what I'm saying. I'm not saying. It's not a lump sum the whole mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I mean, yeah. just to, have to get caught up. <laughs> yeah, to get caught up. retroactive to May. Yeah. And then moving forward. And then moving forward, it would just be in my paycheck. Okay. Um, so we would unfortunately not be able to vote on this until a December meeting, correct? Because we can't, obviously we can't add to the agenda tomorrow. Correct. But just to get this into, I mean, is there any kind of written, I, 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 I do trust Linda obviously, but is there any kind of written rule as to what exactly, it just has to be in the, in the job, it has to be in the job related masters? Correct. Uh, I was, again, talking to Kerry, she yeah. has a pre, um, pre law, Degree. Oh, right, and um, paralegal, she, right. Yeah, paralegal, I'm sorry. And she okay. looked into that um, for me. She, she was the one who actually brought that to my attention. I went to Linda because I thought there was a form or something that I had to pull Right, out. okay. I, mean, I don't, really, I don't know anything about this except it's nice <laughs> for me. It, I guess, well, forward. yeah. It's, so just, I guess, it's something to keep on our radar for, for the next And is this, is, this, is this something that's part of the bargaining unit? At all part of the union? Uh, it, it is, yeah, it is uh, protected. The, the reason, the only reason I'm asking is, in case anyone questions it in the future, is I think when we when we do bring this up for discussion about it next meeting, if there's language in the union contract that okay. talks about it, or in in an agreement that the town has um, for employees of any form, it's good to have to attach to it, just so that if, if yeah. you know, for discussion, yeah. I think. For argument's sake, it, it negates that any, anybody raising it. Right, that, that's why I was asking if there's any so, kind of. I'm sure there is something. I, this strikes me as something that most towns have, frankly, mm -hmm. for employees. So I'm, I'm sure it's there. Okay. Um, I think we should just have it just to, to cover ourselves so that we can attach it to whatever we yeah, do. Yeah, sure. Um, so if, if you can find that, and if not, mm -hmm. um, you know, you can reach out to the. the, the Clerk's office or something that's got to be there somewhere. Good. All right. So our last, well, my last piece for public input. So, um, oh, I just noticed uh, the conflict of interest law is in our packet. Is this a new one, yes. an updated one we have to sign? Yes. Okay. Uh, on the board, I received that in my mailbox. It's everybody's, um, I think it's just you sign the last sheet. I, I believe don't think there's any so. What's the name? Uh, there might be a website that you have to go to. We did that last year. Website. Yeah, it's done every yeah, year. Yeah, we actually had to read the, uh, the video last year. Yeah. So uh, if you could just take that, you have. No, this isn't the one that I did this year because I just joined. All yeah. of them. Yeah. This looks like I. You might have already. It might have been, but this is updated November seventh. So uh, it's probably okay. already been updated since then. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then. So if you have to go through all of them, you can just take that home, sign it, and then we can This next piece of um, public input we have is a application that came across our, our, our desk, and it wasn't an application that we had to see, it was just one that needed um, my signature to sign off on. And I was not comfortable signing off on it because it was for an accessory apartment 
And to quote the bylaw, um, the gross area of the accessory apartment, quote, shall be no less than 500 square feet, no more than 35% of the total area of the single family dwelling before construction. So, um, the, they, if you guys can turn to your packet, the, um, so the second paper in the last pa the um, back page, if you see there, the um, measurements are there for the existing dwelling and the um, apartment they're looking to add on. This, by far, exceeds the 35% um, that is um, for the accessory apartment. Now, as I said, I did not feel comfortable signing off on it just because I felt like this is, you know, it, it exceeds our bylaw. This came in front of us? It did not come from it. It was just something that had to. So there are ap applications that don't need to go that don't need to go before a board for any kind of variance of the special permits. Um, just need a sign off on all the heads of the departments. So this is one that we got, and I was looking at it, and I was like, this math does not add up. So I did not want to sign off on it because I felt like no, this is not something that I feel comfortable approving. Um, so Jim was away for two weeks, so I was unable to um, call him and just be like, hey, you know, am I missing something here? You know, I, I didn't feel comfortable signing off on this. And he just sent this email. Uh, he was back yesterday from his vacation. He sent this email yesterday at 11.07 a.m. to, it was to Nancy, and then CC was um, Nicole, Kerry, and Mallory um, from Jim regarding permit sign-off, and I'm just going to read to you um, the email that he sent. This morning, I had planned to inform, I had, I had planned to inform departments at last week's meeting of the changes to um, departmental sign-offs as indicated in this email. Unfortunately, I was unable to attend. All building permit applications will now be submitted to my office to make the determination for applicability of zoning slash planning approvals. If sign-offs from your departments are determined necessary, then my office will enter office the application packets as needed. Over the last several months, I've had numerous complaints regarding the time expended for applicants to receive signatures from these departments on pending permits. Excessive delays can cause significant hardship for the property owners and may cause the town to be in violation of the state regulations on response times for, perm uh, for pending permit applications. I have instructed all property owners to obtain any pending permit applications that may be held in your offices, irregardless of whether they bear signatures or not. I will review all permits and forward them to you as needed. We thank you for your anticipated cooperation. So, um, I'm not saying that his um, complaints were regarding the permit that I had uh, or not. It, you know, it could have been the fact that I had it for two weeks, but again, I was not going to sign off on that um, without discussing it with him first. Um, it could, that could have been referring to other boards who were um, late getting back on permits. Um, so I just wanted to, I guess, one, ask you guys, am I missing something on this bylaw? No, they have to come before the zoning board. Okay. Now, let me ask you a couple of questions, Mr. Chairman. I haven't really read this through. Um, it's over 35 percent of the, the size square footage that you got on this particular piece. It comes down to over 2,000 square feet. No, that's that's not the, that, that's the whole house. Right. So well, well, you, let me just finish. Oh, okay. So now we have a garage, right? Uh, this I see that's going to be removed out of the studio. What else is there? Is well, there laundry. And yeah, there's a small like space? hallway, kind of you can see, um, Greg. Where is it? Um. So, existing house is right here. Gotcha. Yeah. The garage. Yeah. This right here mm -hmm. is so. Continued non-living space. Gotcha. Yeah. That is the space they want to add on. So that is great. It almost exceeds this. This is a hallway. Yeah. And then there's going to be, if I'm wrong, a unfurnished but not yet occupied living space on top as well. Let me ask you a question. Is that, is that the exact is that way? how yeah. the application came in for unfinished above? Because what I'm seeing here is, last I knew, you can correct me if I'm wrong, Peter, is that 
when you have unlivable space, meaning a common hallway and washer and dry rooms, that's not considered to be in our bylaw. They, um, they do say in, in here when I was trying to, I just to have kinda, it read uh, to me. It does it, so it says in here, the gross area the accessory apartment shall be no less than 500 square feet, which we're definitely not, or no more than 35%, which we definitely are. Right, so even and if we... the cloud ship comes in so, on our end. So even if... Oh, okay. And for the total area of the single family dwelling before conversation shall not be no, not exceed 900 square feet. Exclusion of staircases, entrances, way off street parking shall be provided at least two parking. Now we're getting something. I know somewhere in our bylaw it states that like um, uh, non living space areas are not that, that will allow a little bit. So he's still over. Right. No matter how I look even at it, I'm took, not saying that. Even if we took off the, uh, the above living space, even if we took off the hallway in between. Is uh, there a basement anywhere in this thing? Or is this a slab? I think it was just a slab. Okay. Yeah. Um, so even if we did not include that, they're still, still over, still over no, the amount. No, and after re-looking at what you just showed me, I agree with you. That it is so great. I just wanted to make sure that, like, I, I, you know, I'm not sure. He that hasn't done anything with this yet, right? No, no but there is, there's well, language in there, I think, that also says, if I remember, I can't see it. I'm going by what I read, mm -hmm. saw already or read to me. It may, we may be building in the future. Or build not, build not yet building upstairs. Yeah, it says garage 27 by 28 with living space above to be finished at a later date. Right, so he is talking about that right. living space. Yeah, is where the lecture hung. He, he needs two separate building permits. Yeah. What, uh, if he's going to put an in or apartment in, if he wants to put an addition on to add a laundry room and whatnot to the existing family, he can do that without any anything from the zoning board right. of appeals. That's why, it, that's why it first came up before us, just for me to sign off on it. We're not in the class. Um, yeah. Yeah. But when I was looking at it, doing, doing the math out, I, I was like, wait a second, this is... So I don't know... Yeah. So I don't know how or why it didn't come for us. Right. And they're asking for an in-law apartment potentially, but then they're also talking about adding yeah, additional work. So I guess the, yeah. there's two things we need to discuss. One is the fact that this has to come before us. Um, and two, um, with Jim stating that um, from now on, instead of the, I mean, Dad, you'll know about this because you were chairman and Greg, you were acting chairman at one point. You know how we go into the office and there'd be a packet for us to review. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like, according to this email, from now on, that's not going to happen. Well, the way the way that Jim gets us the work yeah. is I'm the applicant. Yeah. I come in and go to Stagia. Yeah, I want to build this, this. So it starts at Jim. Right. So at that point, I think that's what Jim's saying. All Any application that comes into the town hall in regards to a building permit that the Zoning Board of Appeals would be here, must come in front of me. And I don't think that's changed. Right. I'm that not mistaken. that checklist with all the sign offs that comes from his office. Exactly. At that point, he says, "Hey, geez, you know, you got to go in front of the oh, Hey, you got to go in front of the planning board, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. So maybe I'm misunderstanding that email. I, after you read it, that's how I looked at it. I'm like, "What has changed?" Well, we used to get packets that every department had to sign off on. It's in, but it's it, anyway. it, it always started with yeah, right, right. But right. some of those don't require our signature, but I, uh, but there's a sign there, there's a place there for us to sign. Oh, so it would, come to, right. it would come to the ZBA okay. and say, Pete, you got to sign this. Yeah, well, why would you even sign it? It has yeah. nothing to do with the ZBA. So what I think Jim is saying now is if it has nothing to do with the ZBA, you're not going to get a copy. No, that's right. No. Because I think this, this what, so I had an app. But why, why, why am I signing something that I don't have to sign? So if, for example, there's an app, we had an application Did today for a different property. So on uh, next to town, next to uh, North Dighton Water, Dighton Water, and Sewer, it said NA. Because where this parcel was, not this, not this property, right, no, where no, this no. Par property was located, uh, sorry, a guy that just came. Um, the, that, that parcel would not get town water or sewer. So of course there's no need, like you were saying, of course there's no need for those departments to see it. Right. So what is, what is so with the way you're reading Jim's, Jim's uh, email is that uh, it took too long to get back to him? So I, again, I don't want to put words in his mouth. I don't know where in fact. That's not how I heard it, but I'm listening because I was looking straight and I was trying right. to 
I don't have my glasses. Uh, so, yeah, I, I have, have to say, I'm, 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 I'm looking at you. Hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. Sorry, guys. Uh, so, just to, to I'll quote it one more time. Yeah, please. Over the last several months, I have had numerous complaints regarding the time expanded. Uh, sorry, expended for applicants to receive signatures from these departments on pending permits. So now that specific sentence does not say this permit. It does not say this board. Right. It might not be. It might. It might right. not be this one. I mean, obviously he was away for two weeks. Obviously, that's two weeks now. Yeah. That is, that would that's going to have to wait for, especially if someone's signing off on it had a question. My, my concern, if I can, can yeah. voice it, is sure. that a couple of fold. Um, is that one of the things that I'm concerned about here is whether or not by with this with this email from from the building inspector, mm -hmm. we're potentially relinquishing a responsibility that we should have, at least for oversight. And if that potential is there, I'll put it that way, then I think before anything else, what we should do, in my opinion, is ask, number one, that our legal counsel advise us on whether this is an appropriate measure. But second of all, whether or not the Board of Selectmen, if this is potentially a change in procedure, because that's what it sounds well, like. That's what I was saying. Like hold, on, hold, on, hold, hold on, hold on, Yeah, but if it, may, if, it, if it is potentially also a change in procedure, because I've heard no complaints. This board has had no complaints, not even one brought to our attention. Now, that's only maybe one board, but as but far as I know, there hasn't been any. Which board right, was. exactly, yeah, no, yeah. I agree, but we haven't heard of any here. And I think if we're potentially link, relinquishing something, then we need to, number one, have it reviewed by our legal counsel to see if it meets the test of time, if, it, if that's okay, because we could potentially be liable for later if there's something we should have been signed off on that wasn't for us. He is right about that, right? Se second of all... That actually falls on the bill of inspector. Se right. Right. Se 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 second of all is whether or not doing something like this is actually going to require a change that has to go in front of a town meeting. Because if, if we're giving up a responsibility, potentially, for something that we normally yeah, might be doing. Yeah, we're not giving up the responsibility. Yeah, I just want to make sure, I don't, yeah. you know. And to go to council and ask costs us more every month on our budgets. Uh, just, I just want to explain how it works again. That when the building department comes in, it goes to Jimmy. Jimmy ultimately says it has to go to front of planning. Planning don't have to tell that's going to front of planning. Jimmy does. Jimmy also says it goes to front of zoning. At that point, so now let's just say if Zach comes in, so it looks like it's really nothing for me to do, so I just, now how long does it sit on our desk? If that could be the question. It could be happening with the conservation. It could be happening right, with us. Like we don't know. But the truth of the matter is, is Jimmy tells you, hey, we, Zach don't say this needs to go in front of us. Jimmy does. Mm -hmm. And he's the, he's the first chain. Anybody that comes in the city of Town Hall, hands an application, he says, sorry guys, this doesn't need us. That, so, even if a regular application came in and it had nothing to do with zoning, that's going to go right by, never go to zoning, right? Nothing. He's the one who polices it, not this board. He polices it at the initial. At that point, it goes to Nicole. Nicole hands it to Zach. Zach reviews it, and that's when he comes in front of us. That's the way it is, and that's the way it's Right, and, and that's what happened here. So this one came before so us? So if something got, whether it's on the zoning, conservation, however, I don't really know. Again, we are all part-time. You know, we only meet once a month. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? And, so right. if something had happened, we do take different holidays off, vacations off, things yep. could happen. You're right. The application came in and caused this big grief. But I, and, and Jonathan, I just want to clear it up, though. I don't feel that we're changing any procedure, and that's not how I took this. But what I do take on this is that he wants to make sure that whatever whatever he ends up, and again, I'm a, as a builder, I'm a builder in town. Right. It, take, it takes a, a long, this process, gets held up at all, by the time it gets back to my job and gets ready to go, I'm already four weeks out yeah. right, before right. I even started. Right. So I understand where the hardship comes to the customer and all that stuff. But you get it. But at the same note, we are part-time boys. I guess, and my, and, and my only concern is, you know, I get the concept and I understand the reasoning behind what he's doing and, mm -hmm. and suggesting here, you know, follow this, follow that. I don't have a, a, an argument with that necessarily. I just want to be reassured that legally, and that we're on, by doing, you know, what this suggests, you know, if there's something we should be doing differently, that we're protected by it. Right. So that's well, really let's just put it this Say your neighbor's doing something next to you, and uh, he, does, he, he went and pulled a permit, and it's done wrong, and, okay, somebody complains. It doesn't fall on the board, it doesn't fall on the appeals, it falls on the building. 
they're going to look at who the building inspector did right. or didn't deem necessary to sign off on the And at that point, that's when Jim has to take the responsibility for the situation. So, hypothetically, the, the unrelated parcel I was talking about today, let's say they should have gone before the town water and sewer. Right. Yeah. It's, town water and sewer is not going to get in trouble. The this form, the, the form, the, hypothetically, again, hypothetically, the building inspector per, uh, paper that says NA, that would then go on your, you know, paper. This is the only town that I've gone through in the last four around here that I give the permit to the building department. But I'm usually when I go to any other town, you've got to take this to the building board. You, you go She's got to sign it. You have to take this to the planning board. Then you bring this in and then it's all the signatures done. So, so, so why is the bylaw like that then? I don't understand how that, I mean, Berkeley does it like that. Um, Somerset does it like Like that. what? The, the way that so you go to each board? You, I personally have to go to the fire department. I have to go to all the departments to make sure. If let's, let me just rephrase that. If I have something to do with the fire department, it has to be done. If, right. But now, I everything, I got to go to the tax assessor make sure that I'll stay taxes. To yep. get all the processes that I have to do my work. Now, I give this into Nancy. Yes. Yeah, I give this to Nancy. Nancy says, okay, I'll take care of all the rest of it. And that's it. So, at that point, now Nancy takes that, sends it off, okay, it's going to go to Nicole, or it's going to go to the, the tax assessor, it's going to go, and so that application is now going from board to board to board, so that takes time itself. It does, and like, so for example, whole, if, I really yeah. think, like you're stating, if we have to change something, maybe the petition, I should have to go from board to board to board, get those signatures, and then drop it in front of whoever it needs to go, whether it's going to be planning, or it's going to be zoning, okay. Right. And the now responsibility is now on the petitioner instead right. of it's a lot less leg work for these girls to have to do. And uh, trust me, as someone who works some uh, lately 45, 50 hours a week, it, it, it's tough when like my shifts when I work are either six to yeah, two. She's already gone. Are, are six so. to two thirty or, or twelve thirty or nine. So yeah. if Nicole gets something at twelve forty five, it's like and Nicole, I can't touch it until yeah. Monday now. I get it. So for example, yeah. you know, there are times that I have a, last week I had a stack of five things to review. Yeah. My boss quit at work. I, I can't have these done for you the next day. I know that's gonna take time, but when you have a town or a city when a board is part time, it, that's kind of one of the things that happen, you know. I get it. And like Jimmy ultimately he has thirty days this year. He does. I am so not at all know, he absolutely. Days. So if we give it to him in uh, I shouldn't say 30, 30 days. Each town, like the city of Boston, is six weeks. Right? I don't care if it's short form, long form, you're week. All right? um, this particular town, I think it's 30 days. You have 30 days to issue a permit. So if, we, if he gets this application back on 27 days and we have a holiday, that, the, that applicant could actually say, I don't have to have this, I go to the state. You know, not that they're going to get away with it. No, 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 no. Not at all. Right. It's just, I know. Take, and then, then they have 72 hours to do his inspection. Things like that. It's not. I, it really and is. Again, I once again do not want to put that paragraph that I wrote. But I want to clear up the one thing I just wanted to say. Is sure. I okay. don't feel that um, we the, the the way this is worded is that it's wording that he's attacking the board, the, I, the zoning board. But he yeah. had to put it out there for all boards to review. Well, it, it, he's getting hit all different ways. I'm sure. Yes, I do know what you're saying. However, the email that was uh, so it was sent to Nancy. But it was CC Nicole for zoning and Carrie for planning. So this particular email was not a blanket. Oh, every like single every. Huh? If, so you know, like if you notice that it went to zone. just Nicole, yeah, Carrie, and Mallory. Yeah. So it is it's, that paragraph is likely related to, to one of these two boys. One of or both of. So I know what you're saying how you're right. You know, that is true. Once a month too, in time. You know, right, really and now you know if he is referring to the package that you know I've had this for two weeks. He comes back from vacation. Why isn't it signed yet? That uh, as you can see, if I put my name on that, just all right, it looks good. I would have just as a chairman signed off on something that was vi completely violating our bylaws. So I was like, I'm not signing off on this until I can speak with Jim and no. the way. So then, and then, that's all. Is this particular piece of property? I don't even know where it's Chestnut Street. You said. Um, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He, he might fall within the limits of certain things too, because he, he's, he's putting an home. addition on and he's putting a, an accessory apartment on, an in law apartment it's on. It's how it's worded and how he came in front of the board. He didn't come from it before. Well, the how he was wording it. I think he can go after, like you say, accessory apartment as well. And then we also have, he's got, what's all these other things? I mean, this show is good, but what are these? 
Um, so uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't, I can't see your pointing out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses. That's all right. Today. Um, what your point? Those those rectangles? Yeah, are those? Uh, uh they're uh, the ones on the left are say sunroom. Okay, the and then the small, the small one is a so chimney, and then the other two just say uh porch uh, the that's porch roof. Closed structure. That's considered square feet of paying taxes on it. Is the other ones covered roofs? Anything like porches with covered roofs? Doesn't, doesn't specify. Doesn't specify either yeah, so way. Yeah, the things that, that could be the reason why, it, again, I really think it's a little, I agree, I agree with what you've done. I'm not saying that. I think these are the few things we need to clear it up before, before I start. I mean, I mean just decided. because when, it, when, you're, when, it's, when a signature is yours and yours alone, if I had any questions on anything, I was not going yeah, to I was board. not going to put my yeah. name on something that I was uh, unsure about, that's all. Um, I don't like the idea of something about the unfinished space for a later date. That, that's what additional... So, uh, but let's say that wasn't even part of it. Now we're looking at simply the square footage exceeding. So, is it in addition or is it an accessory? So, wait, that's what, so it, should, he, should he or she, the applicant, have done it as an addition? Is that is like, like lots component? I mean, yeah, yeah the start, I mean, I don't have the dimensions. Oh, I do have dimensions. I'm sorry. Um, Yes, go for it. And why does he have missing details on existing house layout? So is it still missing part of, like, is that not the entire house? Nicole, who's, no, who's handwriting that? Do you know? Which? Uh, I'm sorry, so we're looking at this. That was a sticket note that was attached to the packet that came from the building department. Mm -hmm. Bring it over to you and sign off on it. But this. That was the whole house? Okay, so let me, let me go through the package that you guys have. Okay. Um, so there are two diagrams that are uh, kind of zoomed out with a hand drawn yeah. driveway. Oh, yeah. And a hand drawn, uh, drawn proposal. That's what first caught my eye. That's, so, oh, uh, guys, sorry. No, um, Mr. Chairman and Board, yeah. if I could just go through the timeline. Right. This was dropped off on my desk with just those two drawings, the sign-off sheet and the, I think the stormwater packet attached. It was, yes. Um, Zach, you reviewed it yep. and you wrote a note. Did I read that in the Oh, yeah. It's, um, I'm sorry. Yeah. Is it there? It says, yep. Uh, don't feel comfortable signing off due to vague dimensions reported for new garage and basement. Exceed 900 square feet. Auxiliary apartment. Call me with any concerns. Zach, Karen. Your phone number. Right. The, I yes. Then, I then called them and let them know. The very next day, his father, who I believe will be living in the accessory apartment, came with the larger diagram, which shows existing house, 894 square feet. And then it says not including sunroom and porch. And then it says apartment, which he had highlighted on this copy, 892 square feet. There's a note on this that says missing details on existing house layout. Oh, I see, yep. And at the bottom, he says garage, hallway, laundry, closet space to be added to existing house in green outline. So that would include the 200 square foot hallway and the garage in the larger diagram. Mm -hmm. See, I, I think it fits the requirements. What the way you just said with the highlight in green. Right. This yeah. is what the highlight in the green. Yeah. Turn up. I, 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 yeah. yeah. So he's putting an addition on in and then more apartment on. Correct. That's what he's trying to say. The right. addition is the laundry room and to the existing structure, which in the would increase his existing home and then add the apartment. Right. Do you see why I was confused though by yeah. that? Yeah, I understand why you would. Yeah. For that. I don't know what exactly what you said. And you didn't have the proper dimensions of what it was. So at this point, we're listening what it is, and maybe we can work with this. But this being highlighted, I, I, did you do this? That was me uh, outlining just to show you for the sake of the okay. discussion today. Okay, and you just did that. I'm sorry. That's right. That's all right. It's okay. <laughs> I'm I'm not wasn't, I was. Right so. Mr. Chairman yep. of the board, if I can, um, the building application um, that was attached to the packet says, as brief description of proposed work, add an accessory apartment and garage to an existing single family dwelling. That's that. That's what his, his application is technically for, according to that Accessory and garage. There is no. That's what the reason why I said the wording was pretty correct. Because like, and th so that's why Nicole was looking at the bylaw, and I'm like, well, yeah. if I'm looking at that bylaw, that's, that's that is not fit. Said to, that if we did the, if that's actually in addition to the existing structure, he's making that. 
And you have two laundry rooms in this thing? Yes. So one of those laundry yes, rooms is right. going to be part of the existing house, so that would square right. footage of that outlay would actually increase the existing square footage of the existing Right, because room. that's that's true, because that it's too yeah. often drier, so, so now, that, that hallway is now part of that house. Right, and then the difference, but we do got to get something, I mean, I don't, I, I don't like the over the garage, but that's always coming from this morning. That's, 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 that another time. Um, so. yeah. Again, Mr. Chairman yeah. of the board, he is not coming in front of us. He's not. He's not coming in front of us. Right. Right. Okay. This is, this is an application that everyone has signed off on, except Zach, who had a question about it. And the concerns about the accessory apartment and the uh, living space above the garage was included on another email that is also in your packet um, that Jim responded to two hours before he sent the, one, the letter that you read. That's, that's the uh, front page. Would you uh, like me? Right here. Can you read it, please? Sure. Um, so the original email from the applicant, um, it says, good morning, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Thursday, November 7th, 2019, 11, 11 p.m. Good morning, Jim. I am looking to see if you have some time to talk in regards to adding the accessory apartment. I feel that I may have presented this wrong in the permit application process. That's right. mm -hmm. yeah. As my permit application was able to get through all of the necessary sign-offs except the planning zoning board. Um, and for the record, the planning board had signed off mm -hmm. on it, uh, the zoning board did not. Um, I was advised they would not sign off due to square footage of the accessory apartment. When we initially looked in, uh, I'm sorry. When we initially looked to see if adding an accessory apartment for my elderly parents was an option, we sought your advice, and I believe that it was determined that we uh, are able, there's a title here, are able to proceed with our proposed plan, project, add, garage, 27 by 28, with living space above to be finished at a later date, 200 square foot added uh, area added, laundry, hallway, stairs, entrance from garage, to be added to existing structure square footage. Accessory apartment, 891 square feet. Existing structure is 894 square feet. Question, can you review the attached plans to see if this can be done? Would it help if the living space above the garage was finished at the time of construction to meet the requirements needed or eliminated altogether? Regards, David Gardner, and he has his phone. In response, um, Building Commissioner Jim Aguiar uh, sent an email Tuesday, November 12, 2019, at 9.27 a.m. Uh, in response to Dave. Uh, Hi, Dave. Yes, we already looked at the plan and agreed that it was compliant. Uh, dot, dot, dot. I'm not sure why the Board of Appeals has a concern with the plan as presented. Please obtain the permit package from the ZBA and drop it to my office for review. If I find something that requires ZBA approval, I will see them directly. Jim, James Aguiar, Town of Dighton. So, and that's kind of what raised the red flag. It's like, so the applicant was potentially going to, before we had a chance to follow up and discuss it and meet and talk to Jim, the applicant was potentially going to take it from Nicole, bring it to Jim, without my signature on it, and Jim is going to decide from there if it needed to see me or not. So if, let me ask then, I'm just going over what was just read. Yep. It sounds like what the applicant is asking to do, based on, if you go with the original size of the 890 something square feet of the property that exists, mm -hmm. before we even look at the garage and the area above it, the applicant is asking, at adding 200 square feet for that hallway slash laundry area. Mm -hmm and another almost 900 feet, 890 feet, 800, something like that, for the in-law, you guys have the figure, for yep. the in-law apartment. 891, So yep. that's already 1091. That's already more than 100% of what exists. Correct. Second to that, if we take the dimensions of the garage, I don't have my calculator, if anybody has one quickly, mm -hmm. and we take the 28 by 29, which is the open floor garage space. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, 27 by 28. 20, yep. 27 by 28. Yep. And, and I mean, I don't know how the top's going to look, so we'll say times two. Times 28. Just 27 by 28 right. is 756 so times, times two is another 1512. Why times two? Because he's got the garage and the garage was built upstairs. upstairs. And then that's the most that it could the be upstairs. Right. Okay, so if the garage doesn't count, 
then I'm sorry, then we're looking at 1756 mm -hmm. plus the 1090 separately. Mm -hmm. We're not. Yeah, how did you, will you guys come up with 200 square feet for this? Uh, Hallway. Uh, under the first page? If that's 200, you guys have determined that. I, I oh, he, he said it. No, he, it's not something we that's determined. That's what he said. I'm not going yes. by what he yeah. said. Yeah. So that's asking, this is all circled out now. So that's roughly 20, was that 28 feet wide, guys? Yes. Okay, so we're at 28. And how wide is that, Zach, roughly? Um, I, I don't have my glasses. I apologize. Can you set my 20? The garage, the uh, breezeway, was that 10 feet? The breezeway? This thing you circle with. Um, it's, it, it's tiny it's and, and it's blurry. It looks like it says 10. I'm just going to say this. That's 280 square feet. Plus yep. it's got this little angle here. We'll just call that 5 square feet. Just give it a little bit. It's 285 square feet. 285. I'm not going to say 894. That's not the difference. That's 125. 1,251 square feet would be the existing house now. Was on, did you say one more time, please? 1,251.6 would be the existing house. Would be the new existing house. Yeah, the new inclusive, existing inclusive of right. what that is. Right. So now, what's 35% of that? So, what did we just say 1,251.6? That's 435. So we're so four hundred and thirty eight. How much is it? Four hundred and thirty eight point oh six square feet. So and that's still I don't want to put words in anyone's mouth, but I think it's in the way it's worded this is this is where the problem can cover. Way what? Doable, but in another, the, another oh way. the way the um permit is the way Correct. sorry, his application is worded. Mm -hmm. No, I know you not. So, so you guys feel as though now that now before I sign off on this, does he have to? Does the applicant have to reword his his permit? I think it, it, I think just like you stated, everything has been brought up to it clearly in emails to our board from Jim. Um, one thing that does bother me that I'm reading from them is. Would it, would, should I at this time I put into for the uh, over the garage I think this actually the correct the process for uh, the applicant but uh, in Jim's email he didn't respond to that yeah I could tell yeah 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 that to me is just gonna be kind of put it over the top do we know where this sets in relationship to the property and how close this puts it to yeah, the property? Just looking at all that. yeah I mean, that, that, that we, we do have those on that part yeah. Yeah. yeah on that part but, uh, yeah, it's um. It's a non-issue. What you're saying so far? No, yeah, it's a, yeah, we're good. He's not it's a uh, 54 feet and six inches from the center line. And it's what about driveway? Is it yeah, that on there? He's kept his 10 feet. Yeah. The that that right yeah. right. Clear out the driveway. So first things first. So you guys feel as though um, I, I'm good to to sign off on this one then, no, or should should. The key the applicant reword his permit technically. I'd say let it go back to Jim. It's going to go back to Jim mm -hmm. and okay. let him review it and determine whether the zoning board needs approval or not. If it does, he's not going to let it go through. Of course he's not. He's going to tell you right out. And, he, and I, I would mark my words. It's going to go back to him with the way the word is. I guess. I guess my. I guess my question was. Why. I guess, I, I guess how, how do you get, am I, was I reading it wrong? Or like, no, the way it came So it, it just, the way, just the, the, way, the way it came down was just worded, not in code. Yeah, I guess you According could just According to our bylaw, according to our bylaw, I feel he did the right thing because it stated, well, if not greater than 35%, okay, with on the total single field. However, he's only coming in for what he didn't add for an addition to the existing family first. That's technically. Put that thing. garage. As part of the addition to the existing family, and yeah. then, so it then should, this, where, look, this is, I don't want to say 
much. No. That's that's how that gets taken care of. It's different ways of working. Okay. Okay. So at this point, it's the fault. Just to finish up on this, we're going to let this go back to Jim for him to decide if this applicant should be word that or. And then that signal, I would like. I think we should just say Jim could just show us how that worked out. You know, in the end, so we have some resource on it, which I think we don't anyway. Yeah. Well, I also have numerous complaints. Like, what is he talking about with numerous uh, Again. This is one that you can feel like, okay, this took a little while. Well, I, again. When I was on vacation and you had questions. Right. So um, what are the other ones? Keep in mind, he also, well, that's, that is part of it, too. That was something that I right, was. Right, considering just planning it up. Right. And, and I, that's one thing that I had a question, too. If, if, if it's several. And, and there must be enough that I can have some examples as to yeah. why. Um, so this never actually came in front of the board of, board of, of us just for something in the review? No, it, the, the only way it came before the board was yeah. the way any traditional, I can say traditional. The original, well, the original application, did you actually have that to show how it was worded? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. That's it. Yep. That's, I just read that to you. We, we, we don't, have it, we don't have it right here in front of us. No, I just read that. But, but, but Nicole did. Okay, so you did read it to us. Yes, the direct application that I kept a copy of. The, the one that I reviewed had it, yes. Um, okay. I think I can just find it again. Um, this is Board of Building Regulations and Standards, Mass and Building Code. This is his form, his okay. form. Yeah. Brief description of proposed work in the applicant's handwriting. Add an accessory apartment and garage, a garage to an existing single family dwelling. Okay, and garage to an existing family dwelling. So we can take that old garage, plus that breezeway thing that's all inclusive of the garage, out of that old addition. Now, now we have what we're talking about is over the garage and square footage, because that could be conclusive into the addition, as well as that. So now he's on that. That's what I said before. Yeah. He, 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 he's fine. I agree. But, right, it's now the way that, that I, was right I mean, now that, well, no, it's yeah. not the way, I mean, that's, the way I just understood that. Okay. Right. Okay. That's yeah. How so I, right. So the way that was in the handwriting. Right. That was in the handwriting of the of the applicant. To add an accessory. And no, no. You said add an addition, garage, an addition to the garage to the existing. Did he say that? What, add, say it again. Add an accessory apartment and, and garage a garage to, to an existing, existing single the word, existing. family. Dwelling. That's one entity. Then he's doing the. Uh, the apartment in the back, accessory. Right. So there's where the there's, there's the thing. So there's the first entity. So that and that's what I'm trying to see how that application was written. So that's add the existing to the existing house, the garage and above it. So, so there was no issues with that because he met all the setbacks. He has all the requirements to do that. Now when the accessory apartment comes into play, so now we got to inclusively put not the garage below, but the living space above the garage, mm -hmm. which you were talking about, John. Yeah. Which is the 28 by whatever size, I don't have that. That's line. a 756. And then we also have the 210 square feet. So now it goes into the, the buffer zone. So there's where that, that's where, I'm, that's how I'm seeing it now. So should it have been two applications? No, it's, no. No, no okay. it's, it's fine. It, it's a, it's a I think you can sign it and it's not, uh, not an issue. Mr. Chairman and the board, yep. may I? Um, the accessory apartment is supposed to be up to 35%. Of the existing. Up to, right, yep. Mm -hmm. Up to. No uh, greater than two, what? Uh, no, no, uh, uh, no, more than, no more than, uh, no. No, 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 no more than 900, no less than 500. So 35 percent of the existing, which is the existing, yep, on the, the existing plan, house. on the diagram he gave us, mm -hmm. yep. he says existing home is 894 square feet. Yep, no. Addition on that same diagram is 892 square feet. That's the back. That's the accessory. But if you read the applicant's first page, you read it to me directly, it's stated there. Correct. If you read it again out loud, then you'll understand where I'm coming from now. Yep. Add an accessory apartment and a garage to an existing single family dwelling. Okay. Add an accessory apartment, which is one applicant, and add an ex garage to an existing. Oh, correct. Two. Okay. Okay. I think it's the way the word. Okay. Is. Remember, right. I'm saying it's the word. 
So not not your word, Nicole. No, no, no I, I, I still have a question though, mm -hmm. because this does not state living area above the garage or any mention of the hallway as mm -hmm. either part of the accessory or the existing. So that is all new building that isn't accounted for. The wash, the dry, that wash dryer, and the looks like stairs. And the the area above, which is stated in the email from the applicant. Whose handwriting is this, do you know? That's the applicant. That's the applicant. Okay. Garage. Correct. Hall, hallway. Hallway. Laundry. Laundry. Closet space. To be added to? Existing house. Stop right there. Okay. That's one. Now, accessory apartment comes into play. Okay, that's added to the existing house. That's where the applicant, it's not, it's not that you, you, you caught something that was the wording. Mm -hmm. That was wrong. That's all it is. We did it. We did it right. I'm not saying you did it wrong. No, I don't. I'm just stating that I don't. In my uh, and again, I'm only one member. I feel that this is an applicant is within his rooms to do this process. That's all I'm saying. It's it's the wording. It's just that's like, so what I said. If Jim got it back, he'll change what needs to be changed and come back in front of YouTube. You'll see it right. right now. So by that garage, hallway, laundry, and closet space. Changes the because when he came when that one thing that did bother me was how he was saying future about garage. Wait, how are you gonna do that? One, one, you can't, it has to be two, it has to be the entity of the addition of the original, and then add to that. And that's two separate things. The way he's coming in, he's trying to do it all in one, right? And then they well, then that's what the person asked in the email. Uh, would it help if the living space above the garage no, no. was finished well, at the time uh, to meet construction requirements or eliminate it altogether? So at least they're moving well, the bottom of it. But uh, I don't think that they're out of their rooms for what they want to do. That's my opinion. And that's just my opinion. Now that I s see I what think it's the way they wrote the applicant. Because to me, uh, when I saw it, I, I, I was like, whoa, that's a huge it's it's worded, That's not an accessory. That's double the house. Problem. Question. Yep. Um, the area above the garage, is that counted as the garage? No, that is counted as living space. The only thing that it's it's where you can live, live within the walls. Okay. The garage, like I build houses, I can't. If you do a remodel basement, yeah. okay, in the basement, I can't consider that square footage for my price of the house. <laughs> it's, it's messed up. <laughs> the same thing with the garage. You know, I gotta add it on somehow. But uh, yeah. So the garage, the hallway, the 200 foot hallway. Is not counted toward the accessory at all. No, that would be considered the existing. The 256 or whatever, 250 feet. Uh, that's living space now. Mm -hmm. Of so it's got a laundry. Do, is they, it, do they show a staircase going? They do. They, 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 yeah. they, 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 they do. It is there. Okay. So that's all inclusive into one entity of making the house. And again, it's not going asking for any setbacks or uh, relief or anything like right. that. So Correct. Correct. No, it's not. Rooms to make the home bigger. And then that, then now we're increasing the volume of what we can do for assessment department. So it's two phases, so to speak. So first, I want to increase the size of my house. Yeah. Then I'm going to. But he's coming in front of us on an honest note, saying, "I, I want my mother, father, whoever." Oh no! Oh, I'm so. Oh no! I'm not. I'm not. No, I know. Yeah. Of course not. Um, so I, now that I, the way it was worded by the uh, applicant, versus like now hashing it out now, I right. see it's. A, First, I'm going to double. I change the size of my house. Then I'll meet the requirements for the bylaw for the accessory. Pretty much how I'm seeing. But with the application, it made it seem like I wanted to do all that. That's why I had to read it. No, yeah, I understand. that part, I was like, oh, there's, there's some little verbal little things here. And then I started. I'm like stepping back. I'm looking. I'm like, hey, this is existing house. So that's why I asked these questions. Who wrote that? So, and Nicole, this permit is now in his office, or is it in our stuff? It has been taken by the applicant. So nobody's going to. So no, <laughs> no office has it. Okay. And has brought it back to uh, Jim. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm I'm stuck on this, and I know I'm wasting time. No. I'm sorry, no, but I, I just want to clarify, just to wrap my head around it. Yeah. The existing house as it is right now, 894 square feet. Yes. He, so he, in one application, wants to add the garage and the hallway as part of the existing. Correct. Yep. Okay. So the garage, hallway, laundry, everything here added to the 894 at the bottom of the 
diagram, he says 1,080 yeah. square feet. Yeah. So I'll add that. 1, Equals 1,902 square feet. Correct. So now 35% so of that is 666. No, here's the other thing that I, I mentioned to you about the color, the, what are these units on the side. Anything with a roof over it, it's, it's, that is considered to be pay tax. I don't know how big this is. I don't know how big this Literally, is. Literally, it's a direct hand to the sun runs the windows. Correct. That is with us. That's why I, 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 I remember my father was the inspector at the time. And I remember hearing about covered roofs, including inclusive to square footage of a house. We don't have a covered for farmers' ports, it's inclusive to square footage of a, a house. Is it that? No. <laughs> so right. those are the things I was just trying to ask. Right. So and that could be where his numbers are coming into play. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to follow up. Uh, existing house, it does say in his handwriting, not including sunroom and porch. Right, right now. So he's at that number without doing that. Correct. So the sunroom and porch, we're not even counting that. Mm -hmm. We're literally just counting that big room that says... Yep. It doesn't say anything in it, but that's the existing house. Yep. So if we count 894 uh, square feet, the garage and the hallway as one big house, even though he wants to do it at the same time, which is kind of confusing, that means that the apartment that he is looking to build is still about 230 square feet. But he's within bigger. 900 square feet, right? It's either or. 5, 9, 35. How do you also account for the living space above the garage, which we didn't even count in this calculation? That's that's with the thousand eight. I believe. Mean, no, that no, is the garage, garage hallway, hallway and laundry and closet. The living space over the garage is no. That's just, there's no living space. It's back not. Here. It's the, the, oh, yeah. the living space, but that's not on the. That's not on the application. That's yeah, not so on. That's going to be added to it as well. Correct. So that's going to bring. So he's within his room. That would make his total. Accessory apartment 1,800 and no 1,900 square feet of living space. There's no living space above this apartment though. It's in the garage. Correct. The apartment is 892 square feet. That's right. brand new. We're not counting the garage and hallway. We're adding that to the existing house. The space above the garage and hallway, assuming it's a, a 1,800 uh, 1,008 square feet as he wrote here, mm -hmm. including that whole space would put his total new accessory apartment living space with the 230 some square feet right with the existing house is 894 I square feet 200 garage that's all added in 35 percent of that is 665 square feet it's less than the apartment if you count just the apartment it's less but let's say within the 900 if you also count the living space above the garage but you can't count that why? Because it's not finished. It's how As of right now, it's it not finished. But finished. it has a roof over it. They're not going to leave that open. But I've done a lot of homes where people don't finish the second floor, especially tapes. You do a second floor, and they, they never do it unless they have a family. Um, what I, I'm just saying, I, I, I think he's within his rooms. That's my opinion. Because, still because right the now, that attic is not livable space. Not At attic, this sorry. point. At but this then point. The, then the, then the, the applicant also stated that it is it better that I finish it now. I this is why I think it needs to go back in front of Jim. I the wording do, gets changed. I do see what she's saying, though, because if, we, if, if they're like, yeah, I'm finishing it, well, that changes things. But like the applicant even said, is that going to... Me, is that will it help or will it hinder me to to do that or should we eliminate it all together? It's like well if you if you do include it now, then we're then we're talking into more. I said my piece. Yeah. So this is good, yeah. right? Because the no, you're shaking your head no or you, I'm not or no, no, I, I said my piece. No, no, I know. So the we we're not we cannot count that attic space. Uh, attic space, I'm sorry, the, the unfinished second floor. We cannot count that as a square footage. Because it's not. As of right now, it's not finished, so therefore not. The, the bottom line is he has a big enough house to put the, the size addition that he wants on it. Addition, the accessory, yeah. Right. I can see why you didn't sign it, but there's no reason not to sign it. Now, no, now that the word verbal Right. Okay. No, this is this is your vote or anything. I was just all right. So that is all set. So the question is, do you really need to sign off on everything, or do you need? Yes, to I, I do. It, it does require my signature. 
So I'll have to follow Virginia. Like I said, I'm not. Like I said, the applicant technically has the packet now. And this doesn't require a vote of the board. No. 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 It's no. no, 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 no me bringing this up was like, guys. Just a question. What, what's going on here? Correct. The way it was worded is how it. That's why. And. Made a red flag. Right. And then uh, Jim's email. I guess so. It, it seemed like the email made it seem like he was wanting to change the profit, but it's not. Because all, all, all building permit applications will now be submitted to my office to make determination for applicability for zoning or planning approvals. That's what always happens. We, we get that paper Correct. that has the, uh, the blanks for myself, sewer, et cetera, et cetera, to sign off on. Yeah. So there is no change in process. Right? That I know of. Right. right. Know. Yeah, he was just... The only the only question I would I would ask there, and I'm I know it sounds rhetorical perhaps at this point, um, but you know as was echoed by others, if there are complaints, we don't know about them, and I think if, if it's important for us to know if there are complaints, especially if it's quote unquote last several months and numerous complaints. I, I'd it, like to know where they're coming from. If, 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 if it's anonymous if, complaints, if it's one, if it's one complaint, complaint, I want to know about it. You know? Sure, and if they're if they're anonymous complaints or not written complaints, then we have no way to validate that. Absolutely, that I that's one thing I uh, I discussed then. I uh, was what what's in that? I want to know what's going on. You know, I mean, again, that it looks like it is about us because, like I said, it's only addressed to planning and zoning. So it's not like it's oh, it was an issue with sewer. Like no, that's clearly you know uh, yeah, since uh, yeah uh, from these departments. So he must have meant planning and or um, zoning on that. So, um, which take the longest to get the reviews? You know, you know, out of the two departments, conservation. Yeah. That's another one too. I'm surprised they won't. But maybe they. Yeah, who knows? That, that, I don't know. I guess. Yep. Yeah. All right. Mr. Chairman of the board, for the record, I want to note that any of the applications that have come through my office, I brought up to Zach. Yep. Has been taking them home on his own time to review them. We got them out the door as soon as possible. I called the applicants to keep them updated on the whole process. They came out of the you. office to pick up a bunch of them. This and one other was the only ones that had questions. Zach what was said, the other one if you they, they, uh, they should never leave the building. Yeah, I was going to say that. Home. They should never go. They, they, they should go private. They should go home. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know that was. Yeah. But then, but then that is completely my fault. I was not aware that is it a, that a written law somewhere or just things that could go. Especially in the office, the package should always stay within the four walls of the top. Okay. I was not. That I will absolutely fess up yeah. to that. I was not aware of that. I, let's just put it this way. Let's just say. Um, I, uh, uh, the, the building inspector, she's got that back, it's not here. Well, now where is it? Yeah. Or That's how stuff the, gets going. The car, my, co my car door open, <laughs> yeah. I look out the window or something. No, I, I completely yeah. understand that, and I, that was, again, 100% my fault. I was I, not aware of that. What I, what I would suggest, and I, I don't know if I need to put this in home promotion or not, but very simply, if, and I'm going to go back to the complaints, if there are complaints, that have been directed to this board and they've been in writing or there's a name attached to those complaints. Yeah. I would like to make a motion that those complaints be presented to us mm -hmm. by the building inspector. And if in fact, you know, there were written complaints with names attached to them and it was a private complaint, you know, I, I hate this term executive session, but we could go into it for 15 minutes to at least hear the complaints of who they're from, if they're not a public complaint. But if they're coming to this board, then they should be, you know, we should be aware of them. I agree. So, having I like said that, I will make a motion that the chairman ask the uh, building inspector mm -hmm. um, to attend our next meeting or to provide us with copies of the written complaints so that we can review them and discuss them with the intent of improving on what we're doing. Jonathan, I've got one question before we go into that vote. You stated you heard you know of two, Nicole. Two what? Two people that have complained. No, 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 to um, uh, uh, applications. To follow up with what I was saying, um, nobody has complained to me. Okay. Or, or, so or that's why I make it. I think it's important that if there are there, Mr. we Chairman, take the right yeah. I followed up with them every day on the phone, and they had more than enough time to complain to me. 
or bring up any sort of concern. And nothing was okay. told me. And Making sure that that's what I, that was, yeah. that, because I, if the complete, I would think you would hear about it first. Oh, exactly. I would assume so. I mean, two you know, I mean cases, why is it taking so long? Yes. Oh, yeah. like the, two, the two cases that I was talking about are the ones that took a little longer for yeah. us to review. It was this one case that we were talking about a moment ago one. and this other one. But all the other ones were taking normal, maybe a week right. to review and get and back. Again, it could be normal. You're on vacation one week, he's yeah, on vacation yeah, absolutely. one week, there now we're into three weeks when it could have been done with two things weeks. Things at play here, yeah. yeah. Things and, do happen. And, so, so and going Mr. Back Chairman, yep, yep. one more moment. Because the applicants are bringing the applications to the different departments, I always let them know when that will be in. Yeah. And sometimes they will actually take the application and say, okay, I'm going to get X, Y, and Z first that before I drop it off with you. That's the way it's that uh, Most and towns that do that. that is what we have done. Yeah. So I do not know where any of these complaints are. So I have a motion that I made. Should I, should I repeat it or? No, I mean, I, okay. I, I heard it enough that I'm willing to second that. I would like some kind of, if you so, so my motion again, just to clarify that is that we either ask the building inspector to come to the next meeting and tell us about the complaints by name, the name and address of the complainant, even if it means done, being done in executive session, and mm -hmm. or provide us with letters that he has received or his department has received with regard to those same complaints. That's it. If, if we don't have that documentation, we have to assume there are no complaints. We have no other choice. Yeah, I mean, I... And that would be made through you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, so do I have a motion? I uh, said, so John, made me look. do I have a second or any discussion on that before? I mean, do you guys, are you guys okay with that? I, I personally, from a customer service standpoint, I would like some kind of. I think you would have told you by now if there was issues. I mean, but yeah. if you want to hear, I would like to know what. I would like to know what. That's why I'm sure. I'm oh, that. and if he, if he can't provide that for now, for, for now, then in the future, yeah. I would like any complaints. I'd say for now. I do, I, I'm sticking to what I said. It's in writing that there have been complaints. It will, in, in his writing, right. right. Correct. The complaints might not have been in writing, but I see what you're saying. His, yeah. All right, do I have a second on that? Any discussion? All in favor? All right. Is there anything else we need to discuss before we meet, or before we adjourn? Sorry. Tomorrow's meeting. Yes. Okay. Seven o'clock. Yep. I can play the sick time go home now. Mr. Cole. <laughs> I'm you, man. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> um, so that's 7 o'clock, though, right? I guess it was right. so over the so I'm going to tell everybody I'm going to infect it. Stay away from me. <laughs> All right. Anything else? No. I'll bring the coffee, too. Do I have a motion to adjourn? We have a motion to adjourn. A second? Second. 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 Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Somebody who's going to be talking. Oh, closer to the door. Thank you. Thank you.